Oh, oh, ah. Miley Cyrus! Ah. She came out of nowhere. <laughs> She's so bright. <laughs> you <laughs> should have known. She was greedy we last time, in. and she's we got greedy this time. In. <laughs> oh, greed! All right, let's uh, let's firebolt this thing. Oh, get fucked! I think I killed like three of them. Holy shit! <laughs> Doing pretty good. Keep going. Don't get, don't get left behind. I'm catching up. Go. Baby, where are you going? Baby! Wait, oh, God. I forgot to collect the thing. Get back here, crab! Crap, damn it! I will eat you. I swear to God, crab. Oh, he's somewhere. I can hear him groaning. He's grudging. Oh, he's on the stairs! Oh, shit! Oh! The ghost is busy with him! <laughs> Get the fuck out of there! <laughs>
Whoa. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Yeah, calling in. Heard something. Moving in. Good. He's a little He's testy. Now's your chance. Well, you get hammered, bud. Uh, where's my coin? And they say cash is obsolete. So, this uniform should provide access to the hangar. Good job, Anishia. Uh, there we go. Didn't even realize that was just a fancy old put a body in a box type of thing there. Lucky me. Mm hmm. Who knows me? This guy does. How dare you think to know me? You don't get to decide when I decide when I want to randomly and spontaneously shave my head. You're just a subordinate. Keep all troublemakers out of here. It huh? doesn't make sense. The, the man is like a sitting duck staying in Cuba. It's only a matter of time before Langley catches up with him. If I was Knight, I'd be long gone. If that was the plan. Then Knight pulls a fast one. Now he wants mm -hmm. to the Hmm, I see. In order to make adjustments to the jet and perform the role of safety inspector, you're going to need a mechanic's disguise. In case anything happens to him or his Listen, this is the tutorial that teaches you about the guided part of the mission. Perfect. Now be gentle. He's an actor. He's, okay, good. There's a box right there. Hey, bud. Come here. In you go. Hey, you. Yeah, okay, perfect. I'm amazing. Everybody knows Bill, Bald Bill. Okay, be fueled and ready for takeoff. Good work. Are we clear to go over the safety protocol? Yeah, go ahead. I disabled the ejector seat mechanism. Good man. You disabled this something that seems dangerous. I should re-enable such a right. safety feature. Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. You may need a tool to re-enable it. Luckily, 47 knows all about ejector seats. And now, seats. to confront your target. Knight's office should be somewhere on the first floor. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident How's waiting to happen. Ooh. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello, my dear friend. My name is 47, and I would like to have a word with you. Sacrebleu. Jasper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Oh, must we really? Yes, because you're untrained. You're but some silly actor. Can't just have you flying around in jets without proper training. It's a thirteen million dollar aircraft hey, for Christ's nice sake. Threads, buddy. Thanks, thanks, bud. Lieutenant Colonel. Boop boo ba doo boo doo. Boop boo ba doo boo doo. Now if you would get into the aircraft, please. That'd be, that'd be lovely. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Be be Let quick about it, Mr. Knight. One, one step at a time. Oh my lord, this guy. Step one, strap yourself in. Okay, all strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, just a moment. Uh, yes, found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. 
Yeah, yeah just do that. Pull. Well, I never thought they would use a functioning jet. Good thing you didn't disable this parachute. Anyway, you did it. Excellent work, Initiate. Wow. I just didn't see this coming. That was pretty wild, Stay guys. That was... Wow. I should... Wow, I might be sick from the trauma of witnessing that. Oh, my holy goodness. I should... Uh, I don't know. You know that guy who flew in from Moscow? The guy that just flew out from here? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Man. Tough stuff about the... Hey, hey, bud. Tough stuff to hear about that, huh? I wouldn't want to be that guy. Listen, I'm going to go home and check on my wife. Congratulations, agent. You are cleared for field duty. So good. So good. It's not a big deal. It's the same thing they've done on the other, the first two, if I remember. Maybe not the first one, but I know it's been on one of, at least one of the other ones. Tactical turtleneck. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. He's so pissy about it. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name, nothing. I'm I think they the called me you. 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. We're just going all the way through, huh? The whole, the whole shabambos. Anyway, uh, that was kind of loud. How wouldst one using this?
Is there a one for like just movies and stuff? Doesn't look like it. You just turn the whole thing down by two. All right. But actually, anyway, so this week uh, is likely to be a little hockety pockety. Oh, it's just got all of them in it. Okay. Well, we want to be playing Hitman 3. Because I've already gone through the other two. Uh, I think on Wednesday, there will likely not be a stream. There could be, but likely not. And then on Friday, most likely not going to be a stream. Uh, Wednesday, I'm having a friend stay uh, over because they need a place to stay for the night. And then on uh, Friday, I'm going to Fan X in Salt Lake, which is Salt Lake's Comic Con. So I'll be there for most of the day. So we'll just see how that goes. And then I don't know, but there is... There is a possibility that on Thursday, there's not a stream also, because that would be my birthmas day. So, yeah. Uh, just a lot. Just stuff. Trying to get back to the old grind and everything. And, you know, I'm just tired and never feel like you're getting enough sleep and never feel like you're getting enough done. You have enough time of the day and nothing's ever working right and stuff and the only bright spot in your morning is that cat that just wants to be fed huh Jackie oh you're not even gonna look at me too busy yep yeah. oh. also I weighed myself today and so it seems like the first week that I went on this diet thing I lost six pounds and then after a second week of it, I gained six pounds. Which I can't really take that as gospel for anything, but it's really not exactly... Doesn't really make you feel good about yourself, does it? When your body just decides to fluctuate, which is what the people I go, I talk to and stuff about all the time tell me. They're like, it can sometimes fluctuate. I'm like, well, why doesn't it fluctuate and stay the f down? I've been doing this for a year now. Been exercising for a year. That's what I tell them. I just feel like it's the only change that I've made over the last year is that I get to be. Is that now I get to be fat and sore. And that's not exactly cheering me up all the time, anyway. It's hardly as if I am a happy chappy boy all the time, regardless. So, but yeah, I'm going to be a little bit busy of a week, presume for stream wise. Uh, most of the rest of the stuff isn't that big of a deal for me, but yeah, we'll see how things go. Uh, so yeah, the one I know for sure is that Friday, I don't think I'm going to stream. I don't think I'm going to want to after driving down to it's out, Salt Lake is about an hour to hour and a half drive down. So I'm going to go down there in the morning some sometime earlier, I guess, uh, for when Fanex starts. I'm going to spend the day there is what I'm planning, and then I'll drive home. And so I'll probably be pretty tuckered out by then and not wanting to. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's Just top assassins. Maybe, maybe too tired the to entertain y'all. And by y'all, I mean not. They have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence. A secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the Shadow Client and learn about 47's past. Ooh. But when 47 discovers that the Shadow Client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they managed to capture the constant, 
forcing him to reveal the identities if of the I do, three I'm going to talk about pictures because I don't like being in them. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Oh no. Maybe, maybe cut open, cut open, take off his arm. On top of the okay, mouse, shove it up your backside. And what is look closer in the shadows behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away. How rude. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? Oh. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since uh, then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. Why did we put him I can in only control assume Carlisle of some is random rushing sailor. to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington I don't know what to do about it when it's grew rich selling gunpowder during the American these, Civil War the and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will Let's infiltrate this building and controls and more. disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. My neighbors are vacuuming their car.
So if I just do that. Thing. Okay, so planning. Is, do we have anything? Well, we've never done any of this stuff, so. out there making a lot of noise. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. I don't think I'll need the assistance. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. This is some big stuff. Oh, 47, you can... So brave. Literally no fear. Man's a maniac. Hmm, locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. How, what's, what's, what's camera? Convenient. Ooh. I'm in. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings, I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. The absolute we are so focus. Close, what is? Don't worry. They're not going. This is really nasty blankets up here. Gross. I hate it. I rise into the world of the living. Really, there's something I can wear. I don't know. Can you guys hear that? I hope not. Okay, what's beyond here? Just, just... Oh. Okay, I just get to be that. I just get to do that. I'm so I'm so fly. Okay, good. Well, I guess it's just my, just for me to suffer. So, you folks keep Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. Right? Yes. Sir. yes. So Welcome me and my beautiful gray suit. Tell me about the things and the stuff. Okay. How uh, tall is? I will kick you down every flight of stairs on this building, and it's pretty freaking tall. What's the nerve of that guy? Why is everybody so mean to me? 
Or shouldn't they assume I'm a guest? Yes, yes, yes. You and your cousins every time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Am I allowed to have drinks or are you going to tell me to fuck off like the other guy did? So am I. Look at this. We get some good the stuff event, here. I hope. I'm taking all this tip money. I don't need this. This is mine now. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Perhaps. Oh, you're here! How wonderful! You know, I didn't think you'd come after your tragic loss. Thank you, Lucy. I would love to chat, but... Marcus Stuyvesant was a god to us struggling artists. His and Ooh. your generosity helped so many. That's kind of you. But I have a meeting. I think we killed her, whoever. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. A security guard you named for some more fresh code name Pinky. Jeez. Hey, someone help me! Oh, for the. Wow, this is already going great. Well. Not, I just, I, you know what? I'm just not feeling it, all right? I just gotta just shake off the, shake everything off, you know? Don't mind me. Now I want to become dressed as you. Ha <laughs> ha No one will ever suspect a thing. I am the best guard. This was my gun. I am allowed to have one because I am a gun guard. I am a guard that is allowed to have gun. I'm in a rush. Bibi la bash. $6,000 for something you're just going to walk on all day? Come on. Did she leave the cross? I think I can open that window remotely. Yeah. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Well, I mean, not with these idiots in here, right? <laughs> Thank you. Goodness. You could you? Yeah, please do. Please. With some gusto. Thank you. All right. All right. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts. 
attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence partners. If in Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they jump mm. at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. <laughs> yes, trapped. Man. All right, so I'm not going over, over that way, I guess. Don't worry, don't mind me. I'll just climb across this big ass building in the sky and hope my little fingies don't give out. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, his name's Hitman 47. Can he climb up the wall? Look him go. He's got balls. Walk out, here comes a Spider-Man. Yeah. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Hmm, they don't like me in here. I'm not a real person. Oop. Nope, just using toilets. Just using the toilets. Oh. Can my camera deal with this camera? Can I get cam some hot camera on camera action? <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Ugh, I need to get better at this. I can't be having these unconscious witnesses everywhere. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, toilet. There you go, Sonny. Yeah, you'll be nice and comfortable in there. And I'll be nice and comfortable in your clothes. Oh, shit. I must go and get the, um, uh, from the Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I'll put the passport. So, but I'll, I'll do it when I get to the uh, other side of the thing, and then I can get some uh, of the other stuff as well. So it's kind of oh god, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there and get it now. Okay, <laughs> whatever you say, bud. Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Ah. Hmm. I like this one. Damn it, a silent alarm has been checked. Security is on its way. Hide for... Seven. A freaking McWare. Aha. Oh. What if... Now hear me out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Curl you up a little bit and make sure nobody sees you. Ooh, that guy has a key card on him.
What? Oh. What was that? I've got a body on. I got hey. you in. <laughs> All right, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get out of here. I don't think that's what they had in mind, but that's what I went with. 47 reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. I need to make a decision. And I need to make them quickly. Give the bastard a close. Casket funeral. Never not. <laughs> you go in there. <sighs> well, that certainly wasn't working the way it was supposed to. Can won't go amiss. I could dump this in. Uh, here we go. Oh, you, you're awake. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's just uh, do 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 do. <laughs> it's so bad. Forty-seven guards are heading your way. Be careful. No, oh, no, no, no. It'll be fine. Yes. Sorry about that. Forty-seven. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Hey, hey! Wake up! I need you to get your shit together. I got eyes on an unknown male. Just cowed and on. No one is this. Anyway, uh, I don't, I don't want this either. Drop that. Wow, I made a massive hash of this. Hey, it's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hands. I've never taken things to such an extreme before. Yeah, I promise I'll start attacking anger management. I know I have issues. Admit it. That's the first step, right? Anyway, I've locked the golf ball up in the maintenance scrub. Not that many. She actually made one. No one will get hurt. I'll take it home when my shift is over. I love you too. Yes, 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 yes. Your love is like a freshly picked flower. But anyway, you're going in the box. Everybody goes in the box. Hi, Nox. You missed uh, me making a complete hash of everything. But don't worry. I'm putting this person in the box now. Okay, I got this key in here. See, there's there might be two guards here that are definitely knocked out, but uh, don't worry about it. And there might be more people in there that are knocked out and some more over there that are knocked out, but nobody's dead. Just strategic wrenching to the face. That's all that happened. Speaking of, where is my strategic wrench? Oh, the hammer will do. It's just this deep. So sleepy, so sleepy all the time, so sleepy. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Um. I don't know. 
not entirely, I'm gonna be honest. These all look like they're popping out. I mean, this one's got different stuff. There we go. Good. We're in. Now, all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Oop, I just dumped a bunch of gold out over there. My bad. Uh, disabled cameras. cameras are now disabled. Uh, Elevator doors are now open. Very good. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy? Convenient. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. How do you know that? I turn them off. Wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Ah, oh, they might. After what happened, they might. Somebody might notice. I am you now. Accept it. Life will be hard, but you'll get over it. And whatever piece of crap on the ground is making that clicky noises, I don't ever want to hear it again. Quickly! <laughs> what do I do about this? Conference room. He's over there, so if I just flip through here, perfect. How's it going, Bob? Panic. How's the family? Wife doing all right? Good to hear. Good to hear. Listen, I'm just taking up this hammer, all right? Supreme security hammer. Ooh. Awooga. Everybody's going where they're supposed to go. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Ooh, someone's all kitted out. Shut your face. Where is he? Where's the Sheik? It's a busy day for him. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No, but I've done it. I need that. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? You. You are the one responsible for all this. Gray. What do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Nabokov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me, and at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. 
What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Oh. Gotta get out of here. 47. Where the hell is that security? Finish panel? it. <laughs> this is where you die. I will take great pleasure in this. <laughs> Maybe another one will do. Alright, this has to work eventually. I'm going to get it. Alright, sweet Jesus. I've been working really hard about that. Okay. My arm is starting to hurt. One more time. There we go. Nope. Okay. We give we gave it our best. We can, that's about all we can do. As I uh, take you and maybe I don't know, I push you out the window. Maybe that would be pretty fun if we did that. Uh, I think I would laugh. No, no, no. I can't do that yet. Uh uh I want it to be funny, but uh, it's not going to be funny if if, no, if, if there, nobody sees it. If, if, I, if it's, uh, listen, uh, about all the things, uh, so let's just, you get it easy, punk. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram just, are gone. I'm just going to tell everybody I beat you Brought to death with a tower. No more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous. You don't need that knife in you town. anymore, that's fine. Just, uh, here we go. Uh, no, ooh, hmm. wine, yes, yes, sounds good, wine happened over there, that's what, that was a serious wine situation that occurred. I'm sure that unconscious witness will stay unconscious, that's not, that's not good. There's nothing to worry about. I just uh, hit him in the head with a statue of the spire 352 times and he died. It was painful. Hey, look. Convenient. Bye! Now, see, that could have gone smoothly, but it didn't. And uh, the reason that's okay is... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I it's it's all right. The man behind the curtain. If that's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. I love the rain. Rain is good for business. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. 
Soon enough. He must be dealt with. Lest this happens again. Oh, poor kitty. She's so tired. I have to tuck my own face into my own fur and then cover my face with my paw. Because, uh, well, it's just because it's adorable. Hmm. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Bada, 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 bada. Actually, like necessarily having to shoot stuff if I don't have to. time Thornbridge Manor the Carlisle family's home for countless generations the revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children younger brother Zachary grandson and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral curiously Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear now, hmm. the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. <clears throat> Snap, crackle, pop. Death in the family.
private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mm -hmm. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Ooh. A famous fun private sun. investigator fun summoned stuff. by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be... Nothing. Oh crap, I can't go in the water. Aha. Surely. <laughs> a little bit of wet booty will not bother me. I am but the assassin of the night. Cannot strike him. Fear within me. You hear that? No. Uh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes. Private investigate that. Oh come on! Can you just go see what it was? Right, the out. <laughs> you there, random man walking up the. <laughs> yes. There you go. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on. Yeah, who would do that? Who's the butthole? Hmm? No, no. Hush. No. Hush now. It's okay. It's okay. Also, give me back my money, you thieving pile of shit. Very important to make sure you press the correct button because it's very easy to just snap a random man's neck. Hi, I had to I had to piss uh, in the bush. You're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. <laughs> I was told you'd have a British accent, but I you know, seem to I be quite say anything, but I'm so North American. Here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary. And, and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. <laughs> this is what I mean. Oh, this is troubling. Pat it down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Uh. Oh, I could just cry. All right, there. Frisk away, darling. Okay, thank you, sir. I have nothing it's, but uh, coinage, no time. my little camera, and my BDSM wire. You wouldn't you. you wouldn't part an old man with his goat, would you? It's for autoerotic asphyxiation purposes. Hello, Surely sir. you understand. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need oh, a quick resolution really close. handled with Okay, I guess we're talking like discretion. this. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. Fernsby? I'm Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Oh, God, I love Madam Fernsby. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Come on, Fernsby. Is, when you were born into the family name of Fernsby, did you know I you'd be a butler? I feel to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Scheduled? Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with How are you today, me if sir? they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. There we go, that's the... I trust I do not need to exact remind speed. that the consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. <laughs> Before you inspect the crime scene, 
I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Regarding my earlier inquiry, Fernsby, did you know when you were born that having named Fernsby would relegate you to wearing the white gloves? Because I believe it did. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom Shut of Shut up, this. Diana. I'm having a great time. I never get to have fun like this. What's this? Sweet Jesus. Door. I've already uncovered everything. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. No more peepage. <laughs> Suddenly first person. Oh, oh. Hmm. I think the crime scene has more clues, 47. Well, excuse me, Diana. I was investigating every possible angle. Even the one that exists out in that hallway. You needn't be so pushy with me when I'm having a moment. Did you ever play Clue as a child? Obviously not. So pushy. Zachary's suicide note. Hmm. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last New night. New Wellies? Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Hmm. With whose money? Hmm. Why doesn't he just inherit the ones his father wore? Why don't like you all the weird royals do. The body, hmm. Tell me, dead body of Zachary. Why didn't you just inherit the wellies? That's what you all do, don't you? You just keep using the same crap that you your parents left over. Throat markings indicate a rare short lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. What do you expect? I kill people with them. <laughs> That's probably just telling me that could fall over. Ah, yes. The killer could have hidden here, the perfect hiding spot. Surely there's something. Hmm. Hmm. Rrr, 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 rrr. Ew. Flies. Disgusting. Alright, I'm like. Well, I have it now. My knife. So the wellies, the poison, the the secret entrance way, the dead old man. Mm. This reeks of foulness. What is this? Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I Burns believe me. you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's... Bernie, Bernie, get over here. What is it? How did they get anything done with this butler that's never where you need him to be? Fernsby! My God, I've only been here a day and you're letting me down. Get your ass over here and talk to me. Mr. Fernsby, I'm behind you. I'm done with the crime scene. 
Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Lovely. This is very useful information, 47. <laughs> so how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Patrick Carlyle. Motive? Means Can you an tell me where you were yesterday evening? May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Privacy? Yes, Elaine, get the hell out Don't of here. Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean... How the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. Mm. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. <laughs> or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Hmm. Mr. Patrick, can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from boredom? I fear I may not survive an entire weekend in this shithole. Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden would do you good. I said speed up time, not my party. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. Okay, well, I can't question Hello, you, sir. apparently. I said speed up time, not my passing. I'll just go away with you. Of course, sir. I'll come back later. How very kind of... Stop being so mean to Fernsby. He didn't choose this life. He was born into it. A name like Fernsby. Are you what is someone... No, you're just security. With your big gear ball thing and whatever. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything to get in there. A feather duster. Suspicious. Wait, does this go into it? Oh, that wasn't a door. That was a... Whatever. Shut up! Leave me alone. Where are your kids, woman? If you... Burnsby, where are the children? You find these idiots. This house is massive. It's a lodge. You could house an army in here. Right. Yeah, sorry. Oh, what are you two Emma doing? And Gregory's room. This one? Or this one? Uh, am I kidding? He's probably not going to find me. Mm hmm. I think they're all down here. Oh, well, there's you again. Oh, good. I've done the circle. Every single freaking time. You there. Emmer Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, 
I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Ooh. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. Convenient. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one. Letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Mm -hmm. You! Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> hmm. the, the short of it. Headaches, eh? Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Is that all? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. <laughs> you know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Hmm. How easy did it look like? So Edward looks sad and Rebecca looks very uptight. Oh, hey. Hello. I'd like to speak with you. Rebecca Carla. Can you tell me about yesterday? Nice evening? pants. We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear mm -hmm. Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. Indeed. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whit? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is there mm -hmm. anything else you want to ask me? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Okay. Speaking of Edward, can you point me in his direction? Is he over here by chance? Eddie Bobini. Hello, kitty. Uh, Ed? Anybody seen Ed? I think I'm looking for Ed. Is he just in here? Is he hiding? Is he gonna in a 
hovel? Nope. Probably in a fetal position somewhere. Cradling the bottle. That's the Ed way of handling things. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. I may have been saying rude things about you, you but hey. nicer, but this is still too close. Stop sniffing me, Ed. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh yes. This can you get off the phone and exactly. look at me. I Ed's stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide <clears> some <throat> comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by Mother's supposed dad. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the what star a were all the company he had. If that's all? Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. But no, mother. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Hmm. 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 Ooh, is that cheesecake? Yes, hi, Cassie. It's me again, Edward. Alright, so, right, let's just. So these two are good. Alright. Tell me about your headache. Where's speaking of location of interest? What is Mm-hmm. 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 Doggos. Do you have more to say to me, child? Nope. Okay. Very well, young one. Very well. Yo, Han, what's up? Relax, man. I said I'd get your money. It's just gonna take a little longer. No, oh, good. He's looking good, man. Millions looking and good. millions at his fingertips, yet still in debt. What an idiot. to get to places that matter like here right but I can't do that can, can the butler let me have access to some roomage nice jobs okay hmm Fernsby? How's everything coming along, Helene? Mr. Fernsby. Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. No, I need... I need keys. <laughs> Just... <laughs> this is the front door. This is the front door. Pretty bear. Hmm. If somebody could give me access to their bedroom, that would be lovely. Is that a thing you can do? Can I just yoink your key? Key yoink? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Yes, bedroom access. It's... Essential.
<sighs> oh, sleepy boy. Okay, let's see. That's Zachary's room. Five out of six clues. Hold on. There's what's what more clues in the dead man room. The investigation must continue. And into it. Incredibly dangerous situations, right? Hey, so, oh. so I. Oh no, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Same. Yeah, yeah, you guys maybe shouldn't be floating around some. on duty, huh? Someone's gonna notice, like me, who doesn't know where they're going and gets lost easily. Just, I'm really just sir, you can't be here. All right, I'm leaving. Yeah, and stay out. Sorry, I thought I was investigating. My bad. I was hired legitimately. Can I walk through here? Sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're good. Hmm. Aha. Scanned the booze. Let's see. The office of Mr. Fernsley, the butler. The room is accessible through the storage room in the staff quarters on the ground floor of the mansion. Very well. Woo. You faced great obstacles too, I know. Oh, you're not even, you don't even know. We will persevere. It is my duty. Suspicion is rife. Mm -hmm. Over here. I wish it would tell me what these were. Dining, trophy... Staff room. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Oh, for the love of Why is everybody lock their stuff? Yes, sword. This will solve all my problems. But he was such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to oh, forget Rosie. about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. Hello. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. Huh? We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. Mm. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Billy the Dingus? Like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you mm. notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so 41 guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. 
There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. I can't deal with all this pretend funeral stuff just now. I know I have to, but Amy thinks she might be pregnant. I'm gonna be a dad. I remember how it was with the first one. The ones that come after certainly are a lot less of a worry. What's that? Lead pipe. Interesting. I don't I, I need a I need a key. I need keys. Mm. Ooh, guns. Listen all day. He pours emotion into that instrument. You have a way with words, Stan. I was just You guys get back to work. Can't you just relax for a minute? And that solicitor upstairs. Why do you think he's here? I think solicitors are mother's favorite kind of people. Can't remember ever having a family event without one tucked away in a room somewhere. Due diligence is always Can I talk to you again? Nope. Okay. I got nothing else to say. Huh? Your son didn't pick up the torch. That will never happen. Why doesn't anybody have crowbars around this place? Straight over here? I believe it thinks I want to have like photographing time in here. Is this? You always led by example rather than by words and meaningless gestures. Surely someone's got a key in here, right? What could I achieve with the soap? How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? I'm getting a headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not. Should I ask her to marry me? What she says, no. <sighs> You'll be fine, Robbie. Kids are great. Rat poison. Useful. I need to stop thinking about Emma all the time, but she just makes me so angry. What is it? Elaine said she saw her on the top floor, stroking the door to Alexa's office. I kid you not. And her son Patrick is just as bad. Just look at Rosie. She has no respect. Preying on the girls like that. <laughs> oh, ah, dang it, woman. Do a little... Libby flop. Do a little spin around. I don't want you looking this way when I do what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just need you to go to the bathroom so I can choke you out and hopefully find that you had a key to the whole building. Did Alice tell you what Emma did when she arrived? Tell me. She turned up and demanded to be put up in Madame Carlyle. Oh, yeah. I don't feel so good. Mm. Ooh, interesting. That's awful. An awful thing to have happen. So, at such a busy time. Well, the groceries arrive. I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. But why is safe with Ethel? She never misses a step. Gossiping and work both. It's okay, I won't let any barf out. This is a surefire way to get it to stop. Ah, crap. It doesn't look like he had a key. And, and now it's disgusting in here. Mm. It's beautiful. Right, so 
Ooh, hello. Just grab that wrench. That'll be mine. All right, is someone going to go investigate why that's on? Come on. Anybody? Anybody in a, some type of authoritative position that has keys? Sorry for the inconvenience. Hmm. Things to camera over here. Excuse me. Busy. Is it just this? It's an awful picture. I wouldn't want to take a picture of this picture. over here that's so interesting or is it upstairs from over here <sighs> this must be what real real detectives feel oh the stress pounding agony Yeah, so it's on this floor. There's something right in here that I need to photograph. Start looking at stuff. The bust. Hello. 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 What is it? What do you want me to see, game? I'm here. I miss it? Is it like a leaf? Aha! Fascinating. Mm. I feel bad because now I've. I've rat poisoned an innocent man who didn't have a key that I would have used. So now it's just kind of, kind of just rude. Did that solve anything? Mm. Investigation, private eye. Forty-seven. I can't get into his room because it's locked. Tell me about the uh, pin. Uh, in it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Are you guys talking about something, or did I interrupt? Oh, baby, look at look at you, look at you. Yes, yes, that's the way. Work it for me, darling. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to hear the chit-chat between those two, potentially. So I can go way over here. That American lawyer in the the small office. Did you check his travel documents? I, sir, I was it all checked out. Those people meeting at the Did I understand correctly that I should? 
should give it to Rebecca in case of your death. Exactly. She holds the other one. I want her to have the file on Arthur Edwards if I die. You're not fearful she will be in trouble if she knows. She will start digging when she realizes things don't add up. Inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew who she's up against. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she'll be able to hit him where it hurts. Mm. But I don't want her to get involved prematurely. Hopefully she'll never have to get involved at all. Very good, very good. Uh, Mr. Butler, can you open your friggin' McOffice for me? I'm having a hard time achieving my objectives when you stonewall me with a locked door. Let's see. Oh, are they chit chatting again? Okay, shut up. Shut up. For one of his beautiful daughters. Are you only interested in me for the gossip? Oh, I thought we had a real connection. I'm heartbroken, Annie. Hey, you! Flatterer. Stop sneaking around! <laughs> well, I'm just saying. So, Sam, have you ever fallen in love with someone you were hired to protect? Like a foreign princess or. A Come on, say something star. naughty. <laughs> oh, it would be so romantic to work that closely with someone you had feelings. Are you still trying to drag my secrets out, Annie? You're persistent. I might have to keep an eye on you. You're a cute one. I'll give you that. <laughs> one of these days, you're finally going to pry something out of me. With a handsome face like that, I bet you've worked with a lot of high-profile celebrities, right? I'd much rather hear your stories. See, I can't imagine what goes on behind closed doors in a house like this. And Come I'm on. sure you're very perceptive. Oh, is that so? <laughs> you almost got me that time, you must have been in some incredibly dangerous situations, right? Shootouts and hostage negotiations. This is a this is movies. this is a oh, natural conversation. But then I'd have to kill you, <laughs> even if you are the prettiest girl I met in years. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep trying if you want, though. I bet you have all kinds of interesting stories. Oh, don't make me go on and on about myself like some sort of dickhead. I want to talk with you, not at you. I'm not letting you go that easily. Come on, say something. <laughs> You're being so coy, Sam. Can't you tell me about anything exciting that you've seen? It would be pretty unprofessional of me to talk about that. And I certainly wouldn't want a refined woman like you to think I'm unprofessional. You flatterer. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Didn't you say something about a shake before? What was he like? Did you fall for one of his beautiful oh daughters? Oh my god, this, this isn't oh, going anywhere. Right. Let me get back to it. Right. I'm doing, I'm doing the window. I incapacitated an innocent man. Unnecessarily, it would probably seem. To try to get a key. And that didn't work. So now, private eye is on the window sill. Safety. Hmm. No one ever accused me of being safe, and I'll never let them get away with it either. I do what is needed to be done, even if it costs me my life. Nice stick. Epically good stick. There's mud. Hmm. Emma's shoes. Disgusting. Filthy. A woman of refinement isn't supposed to walk around with mud covering her bootaloos. Therefore, she's a liar. Hey guys. I should get back to you. You know, uh, there's plenty of locked and hidden places here. You could just get the boogie going and, and you know, nobody would be upset about that. We all know what goes on in it with everybody at work. We all know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta, I mean, you know, how the kids say, bust out a quickie. Just, ah, there we go. That 
that's a, that's a little bit more comfortable. Good thing I got these extra grippy fancy boots. Yeah, da, da, da. 47. It has perfect balance. It's like a cat. It's like a feline in the wind. Do 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm just investigating with my rubbery gloves and heeled boots and my big trench coat and flashlight on my eyeglasses. Climb through window. Better. Rebecca, what have you to offer me? I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. The handwriting won't match, will it? Hmm. Who else has lodging? Over here. With the toiletries. It's something special just in the wall. Oh, now you have my attention. Before... Hello. Hmm. What is it, Burnsby? Mr. Edwards. Yeah, keep it real. Okay. I can't be in there. Small office. Oh, there's a man in there. I need it immediately. Yes, Creature, I'll hold. Grow up here. I believe he is calling you. Yes, I'm still here. It doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? <sighs> right. I'll double check and get back to you. What's going on here? Tell me your secrets. There's something in the wall. I need to know what. You there, security guard. Shoot. Be gone. This is a murder mystery, for Christ's sakes. I might need the wrench. Things might get physical. me young one oh you've got to be kidding me oh, you've actually got to be <laughs> I'm do all that <laughs> you utter twat biscuit of an old lady who the hell does that I just let myself in. All right, I'm gonna watch that little. Okay, here she comes. So I'm just gonna be in here, and whatever the heck it is that she's planning to do, I'll wait. What conversation well, are you going to have? Well, well, what did you find? Uh. You think special will have a damn good reason for not being here man, in person? Man, me. Christ. I need a hand down here. Really don't have a Something's clue. Something's going do on. I'm sure we'll have one. Please don't ask. 
Sir Edward, can we get back what he stole from me? So far, it looks like we can. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. We have accepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. <laughs> Johnny Ace should be here. He made the arrangements. He should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Just kill me. Continue your efforts, Mr. Now go away. Leave. And you go with her, obviously. Get the hell out of here. You see there's some supreme detecting going on. Right now, you Mr. Ford, if that is your real name. Going in the box. Yeah. Now did I did I leave? Yes. There was a gun that was left. That needs to be left somewhere else. But anyway, huzzah! This gun can live in here. Keep a little bit in the bathroom. That's disgusting. Come on. Just, just ask a person out, you know? Into here. Where I was. Okay, so... This house is weird. That's what I'm getting at. And apparently there's just something to be done over here where the lovebirds are having a moment. Right? Um, reading? You look really smart in a good House way. House and hostage negotiations? I like reading. Like maybe actually, we should get back yeah, to it. Yeah, I should let you go. Yeah. I read all the time. Okay, what is here that's so important? My parents were keepers. Hmm. This? Just I know it can't last, but I don't just want another hookup. Hmm. It just doesn't seem like there's anything actually here. What's going on here? A rumpf. Burnsby, I gotta, I gotta check on your stuff. God, this place sucks. How are you? It's so brown. So very unapologetically brown deeply thoroughly and thickly brown all right is there a little sneaky way into his office Does he have a window? Does he does he is he allowed that courtesy? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's not helpful. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Life can be tough sometimes. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe that all was murder. Why else ask him to sneak around? Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, the sword didn't work. I don't know what else. Uh, just let me in your office. I don't. I haven't seen a Someone's got to have a crowbar. Where's a crowbar? There's a shovel. There's a rake. Presumably, you. Any of you got crowbars? That. That's mine now. My crowbar. Right, hopefully nobody hears this. Boing. Golf club. Zachary's diary. Ah. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Hmm. Ooh. Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carla doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carla he did. Mm. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Hmm. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? I want to do some more detecting. There's more to be done. Patrick Token to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her? That sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. What? What's the other one? What is... Oh, well, I don't need that. Ooh, chips. Are they wavies? I like chips. I'm a fan of the potato chip. Something out detail the old at a staged church. funeral event tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be a Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The undertaker wants to be gone before he's seen Madam Carlyle. Mm. I hope I die. Oh, unless you want to speak to the birds, I, I love Oh, oh my God. Oh, Someone sounds very high over there. It would be a beautiful service. <sighs> Ooh. Perhaps we should investigate the greenery. Forget how the rich do things. All this fuss for a pretend funeral. And why not do a photo shoot because we're all gathered? Talk about messed up multitasking. And who's carrying the load? I'll tell I you. I don't who. believe for a second I, that Zachary yeah, committed Frank suicide. We don't need to just run through his plans too. for spring chicken. Oh. Yesterday. Sure. Didn't I grab that master key? He was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Ethel was sure Emma would throw him out. First chance she got. And now we'll never oh. know. Oh my God. You're taking this hard, aren't you? That guy saw that. That guy be quick. You gotta be nimble. Okay, good. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Well, look, I fixed it. Hmm. 
I can make poisons. I'm just good at that. I'm just really good at this. Hello? This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Hmm. Hmm. Have I been able to check her room? Any extra. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Rebecca's, Zachary's, Emma's, and Gregory's room. So we did do that. Right. There's still something there that it wants me to uncover, but I don't know what. The area undiscovered is just an area. Looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No power, no portrait. Hmm. <sighs> Can I talk to you again yet? Because you're the only one I don't have answers for. Mm -hmm. This whole situation isn't normal. How do you think it affected Patrick? He must be so confused. I don't like how Alexis... I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Oh, crap. I don't think that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to just ask him about his bullcrap. <sighs> Damage. Forever ago. Truth is, I know who did it. I just need to, you know. This is a broken lab showing equipment. lethal dosages for the like poison it was recently used to kill it. Zachary. Something is circled, forty-seven. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Boat key. Potential escape route. Hmm. Now. I'm going to continue walking through this. Because I don't want to frame a butler for it. I don't want to do that. I'm an honorable detective. I'll do it right. Or I won't even do it at all. Mm-hmm. Take up. Of Bird's Corner. Where are you? Ah, wrong side of the wrong side of the house. Wrong side of the fire. 
every time. All well downstairs. I bet you have all kinds of info. So I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, what you yeah, say? Sorry. Sorry. Just, what is here that I need to investigate, that I need to witness? I just don't get what it's trying to tell me is here. Newspaper to be picked up. Bathroom. This room. This is Emma's and Emma's and Greg's room. Did I get everything? One of four clues found. Oh god, there's much more to be dead in here. <laughs> what is this? A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? <laughs> now this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Oh dear. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I th Diana is impressed. Suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. I want. Unless you think there are all. more secrets to uncover. Well, there's at least one. So hush for a moment, Diana. I'm busy. Perhaps there's a note. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cell phone. Yoink that. What else are you... Oh, perhaps out here. Hello? Hmm. That's a dirty towel. Dirty, dirty towel. Filthy, disgusting, and full of worms. We've got the dirty shoe stuff there. There is just something else to be had in here. Hmm. I need to know everything. It consumes me. Letter opener. Mine. Bag. Elephant lamp. What what is in here that I need to investigate? Want to know? Is it the poker? Is there something in the fire? No. Nyeh. Hmm. A rumpity bumpity rumpity. Hmm. Suspiciously open wardrobe. Come on. Oh, I found everything. Okay, well, off I go. So coy, Sam. Can no, we should probably just uh, yes. Butler man, where are you? I am ready to conclude things. Who are you? 
You're not butler man. Butler man, butler man. Someone tell me where's butler man. I need his face close to mine so I may speak my mind. Look out, here comes butler man. What does he? Harumph. May I get you anything, Mr. Patrick? Aha! Privacy. Maybe stop keeping an eye on me. Who put you up to this? Mother. Just doing my rounds. Right. God, I hate this. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Please do. Lead the way. If any time. I know you're old. Probably the oldest thing in this house besides this house. But if we could just, you know, you know, get a move on. Oh, she's going to love when I tell her about how you helped kill somebody and their illegitimate oh, baby child thingy. The sex in this place is rampant. Even the, even the staff are doing it. It's filthy. I hate it here. It smells of semen and butt sweat. You should work harder, Mr. Fernsby. Work much harder. Not like that. I'm not allowed up there. It's gonna be okay if I go up there? Or you, I'm not, I don't think I'm allowed up here. So it's really dark up here and there's a freaky rhino. Oh my God. This place is a horror show. Hello there, sir. Okay, all right. I guess I'm I'm with the main man. Hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, this place is creepy. Let me just make sure I've got my poison on hand. Carlisle's office. Please step inside. This one, the big doors. No sign, huh? Sad. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Mm. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter <laughs> from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emmer to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma Gross. is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well. The girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Hmm. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? 
I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. I didn't say no. I mean, I would. It's kind of my whole bo my whole job. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. Stay back. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Can I poison her sippy? Does she have a sippy to be poisoned? Do you have a poisonable sippy, please? Can I go upstairs? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Can I hit up here? Apparently so. All I need is a place that I know she's gonna take a sip. A shotgun! Madame Carlyle's packing. Packing heat. Mm. Come on, I wanted to do this so smoothly. Such elegance. Oh, good lord. she have a drink anywhere surely the woman must take sippies what in the interesting Ooh, a cushion <laughs> another secret passage with a unicorn horn well okay what I have now. This is mine. I... Hmm. Fascinating. All right, Madam Carlyle, it's time I figured out where you re where where your particular part of the watering pond is so that I may shit in it. How are you, sir? Can I walk through here? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, Zachary. At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlyle legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone, I fear. That bloody Arthur Edwards, how did I not see? I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he'd tried. Hmm. Come on, go take a drink. Stop choking that person. Oh, God, are you in the room? Pacify the bastard. <sighs> I thought that guy was on the other side of the wall. <coughs> anyway. Come on. I want I want to do this so eloquently. Oh, thank you. Uh I didn't realize you had such grand power to bless that which is beneath you. I such an inferior. Aha! Oh, damn it. Her guard knows how to open doors. Looking good, looking good.
Carla, the woman does not take a sippy. I was really hoping that the woman would take the sippy. Mon, are you Catholic? Can you do mass? I, something? Anything? Can I dip the wafer in in poison for you? How are you today, sir? I'm doing just fine. I could be doing better, but I'm doing just fine. All right, I appreciate... You know what? Thank you. Thank you for asking. Anyway. I'm just surprised that they don't let me poison the old hag. John Yates, Alexa Carlyle here. You need to explain yourself. I demand that you return my call ASAP. Sending a junior attorney is gross negligence of your responsibilities. And you have consequences for your attention. And you... Personally as well. I think I'm gonna have to unicorn horn her. Mark my words. What's that? Garden shears. Oh, is she going in the private room? In peace and quiet. Surely you're not going in there with her. It's the private room, man. Whoop. Legend shit! Spotless, despicable, nitwitted little man! How oh, I was just. <laughs> Mission complete. Well done, 47. Uh oh. That, that can't be good. Diana got cut off. There you go. Blessed be. Those who worship the unicorn horn. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Now that it has been doused with the blood of the wicked, I may revive the unicorn. Perhaps bring it back to its former glory. Who knows? Who knows what I'm capable of doing? And nobody does. Wilkinson accused of Out of, of my way, mother. <laughs> busy. <laughs> you should have listened to me. Don't get your meat where you get your bread. I need to see the unicorn. It's okay, friend. I've done it for you. I've done it for us. Done for all of us. Now, presumably, there is a boat because I found a boat key. It's probably there to the left. That looks boat. Wait. No. Where it actually looks somewhat landlocked over here. Hmm. Oh, it's just a shizzy bridge. Oh, if there was a boat, I want to take the boat. Gotta be over here somewhere. Someone's have everybody. Everybody in this freaking place is getting randy with each other. So unprofessional. I doubt that's true, though. No, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired. Last there time. we go. Look at that old codger. Come, darling. Come, come, my baby. Come. No, I can't use it. I'm not allowed. Hogs Wallace. I just, I want it to be so cool. I've done this so well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I've done my best to solve the crime and commit only one other. I killed the hag and left her in the wall with a unicorn horn. She's bleeding to death. Oh, did it come off this one? Oh, by the way, I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be back mad on? at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it, actually. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your ex is like manipulating your 101. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I guess I thought... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, this is going to be really awkward when the actual detective finally wakes up in that bush. 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. Uh -oh. ah, I see. I can't use the boat because it's a story thing. Meow. <laughs> It took forever, though. Ooh. Hi, Kiki. Are you? What are you trying to say? Oh, why did I get a lockpick? Take us all on. Don't. <laughs> Tell the constant to start running. Oh. You think you've won? Forty-seven is out there, and forty-seven never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. It's left now. 47's only friend. He's my only friend. Sad puppy. <sighs> sad, sad day. Sad, sad, sad day. All right, but that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you, Knox, as always, for coming by. Do hope you had fun. Uh, I'm not sure how long, how much longer this game has to go with the story, necessarily. So maybe I'll have to think of some stuff to do uh, for replaying some of the missions if it doesn't go very long. But we'll see. See how it goes.
Hmm. Kitty cat has gone. Well, I mean, we can always just go back and play the other ones, because, look, they're all here. Hitman, Hitman 2, Hitman 3. There's plenty of stuff to do. Plenty to do, presumably. Even side missions, interesting. But yeah, I think that'll be it. There's a helicopter going above my house. Someone must have died because I live next to the hospital, and that's usually what that is. All right. As I said earlier, it's going to be a uh, probably a little bit of a bouncy week stream-wise, but we'll just keep going as we do and see what happens. So, But for sure, Friday should be no stream, I think. Ugh. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. I appreciate all the patronage you all folks give me. It means a lot. And I will see you on the morrow for another stream. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.